In this video, I'll talk about aggressive behavior in children and adults, what it is and what are its main characteristics. Also, I'll provide some possible strategies to manage the behavior. So, what is aggressive behavior? Aggressive behavior in children with autism spectrum disorder refers to actions that involve physical or verbal aggression directed towards oneself, others, or objects. These behaviors can manifest as hitting, biting, kicking, scratching, throwing objects, screaming, or shouting. Aggressive behavior in children with ASD can vary in severity, frequency, and the target of aggression. There are multiple causes that can lead to development of an aggressive behavior in children with ASD, such as, first, communication difficulties. Aggression can be a way to express frustration, pain, discomfort, or other needs. Second, sensory aspect. Sensitivity to certain sensory stimuli can trigger aggressive reactions as a way to cope with overwhelming sensory experiences. Third, social aspect. Difficulty understanding social cues interpreting others' intentions or engaging in reciprocal social interactions can contribute to frustration, leading to aggressive behavior. Fourth, emotional aspect. The children with ASD may struggle with managing their emotions, leading to outbursts of aggression when they become overwhelmed or distressed. Fifth, stress. Situations that cause anxiety or stress such as changes in routine, transitions or sensory overload can trigger aggressive behavior. Sixth and last, environment. Loud noises, bright lights, crowded spaces and familiar situations can be triggers that may lead to aggressive responses. Now that you are aware of what can cause an aggressive behavior, let me provide you with some strategies that may be helpful to manage the behavior. First, understand the source of behavior. Identify the specific triggers that lead to aggressive behavior in the child. This could include sensory stimuli, changes in routine, or communication difficulties. By understanding the triggers, you can work towards avoiding or minimizing them. For example, if the source of the aggressive behavior is sensory stimuli, then you may use the additional support such as glasses, headphones, fidget toys, stress balls, or weighted jackets. If the source of the aggressive behavior are the changes in routine, you can use a visual scheduler and first the board. If the aggressive behavior is triggered by inability to express wants and needs, then you will teach the child functional communication through the use of AC device, picture exchange, sign language or verbal language. Second, social skills training. Teach appropriate social behaviors and skills to the child. This can include turn-taking, sharing, problem-solving, and recognizing emotions in themselves and others. For example, throughout the day, you can use emotion cards or charts with pictures depicting different emotions and encourage the child to point or identify the emotion they or others are feeling at that moment. Or you can model different emotions and label them. Then encourage the child to do the same and provide praise when they make an effort to express their emotions. Third, sensory balance. 
help the child manage sensory sensitivities and avoid sensory overload. This can involve creating a calm and organized environment, providing sensory breaks or teaching the child techniques of self-regulation. For example, you can use a countdown chart with steps showing how to regulate emotions. The chart will include talking, deep breathing, squeezing a stress ball, counting to 10, uh, finding a safe space, using a sensory toy, using feeling chart and positive self-talk. Fourth, establish routines and use visual supports. Maintain consistent routines and use visual schedule or visual supports to increase predictability and reduce anxiety. Clear and structured routines help children with ASD feel more secure. For example, in the morning, sit down next to your child. Place in the schedule the pictures of the stable events such as breakfast, school, homework and dinner and leave the empty space for the child to complete with the desired activity. For example, if the child has free time in between breakfast and school bus, ask the child what activity he would like to fill in that space with. Fifth, use social stories. Social stories can help describe in detail, step by step, what the child can do and what coping mechanisms to use when they start feeling frustrated, nervous, or distressed. For example, you will start the story with describing that it is okay to feel frustrated, nervous, or distressed. Then you will continue with naming and describing steps that could help the child cope with these emotions. And last, you will conclude with admitting that all the emotions and feelings are part of our life, common to everyone and able to be managed. Sixth, reinforcement of positive behavior. Implement a reward system to reinforce desired behaviors and encourage positive alternatives to aggression. For example, if the child starts to feel anxious and retreats in a quiet and calming space, make sure this action does not go unnoticed and you praise the child verbally or reward the child with a favorite game, activity or food item. Seven and last, safety measures. Ensure the safety of the child and those around them. This may involve creating a safe physical environment, using appropriate restraints if necessary, and closely supervising the child during periods of increased aggression. Here, you will need support from professionals that are experienced in supporting individuals with ADSD. Receive training to effectively manage aggressive behavior in children with ASD through support groups, workshops, or therapy sessions. It may take time to find the most effective strategies for managing aggressive behavior. However, it is important to approach behavior management with patience, consistency, and focus on understanding and addressing the underlying cause of aggression. I hope this video helped you understand what aggressive behavior is, its main characteristics and how to manage it. If you have any questions, make sure you type them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.